Hey everybody, welcome to the happy hour with Heather B. I am Heather B, of course, and I'm still in the midst of the holiday season because I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna be honest with you about something. A year ago, I hated eggnog until I found a red velvet vodka and I started just going crazy coming up with all these different flavor eggnogs. And today you're in for a special treat because I got another one for you. All right, you're gonna get your trusty shaker out and fill it halfway with ice. I've already done that. Get you a coconut vodka, all right? Give yourself about a 20 count with this one. And the reason why is that I like to make a big mix of eggnog so I could go around and always refill my friends' cups when they're out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, that was pretty easy. Next, after your coconut vodka, you're gonna get a caramel vodka. Very easy to find, it's right on the shelf, probably not too far from the coconut vodka. And you're gonna give yourself a 10 count with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, just to get that little taste going. Next, you're gonna get a hazelnut liqueur. That's very easy to find as well. None of these things are hard to find inside of the, your local liquor spot. You can get your hazelnut vodka and, uh, I'm sorry, liqueur. And don't spend too much on it um, because you're mixing it with other cocktails. And give yourself about a five count with that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, next, get an eggnog. Now, I haven't mastered the eggnog recipe, so I'm still at the grocery store picking up eggnog. And I got the Turkey Hill eggnog. I'm giving them a plug because their eggnog is really good, just a plain straight up eggnog. Plus it's really thick and creamy like a milkshake, so I feel like I'm having an adult milkshake when I mix my alcohol with the Turkey Hill eggnog. Plus the ice cream is good, so they mastered the ice cream game. I'm pretty sure they have the eggnog down pat. All right, I'm gonna get my top for my shaker. Make sure it's on tight, and I'm gonna give this a nice shake to get my shaker nice and cold and have that ice bouncing around from top to bottom. Okay, and get my shaker really, really cold. I can feel it getting cold. All right, there you have it. And really, once I start smelling the alcohol coming through the shaker, I know that it's time. All right, get that cap off. There you go. Got a fancy glass out since it's the holidays. It's good to put your stuff in a nice glass for presentation, especially when you're having company and friends over. And I sort of filled it halfway. No ice inside the eggnog when you pour it into the glass. This is a drink I like to just enjoy, just like this. Have a sip. Oh my goodness. You taste the coconut, you taste the hazelnut, and you taste the caramel. It is a perfect blend and a perfect combination. Hit me up at the Happy Hour WHB on Instagram and Twitter. Also go to the Happy Hour with Heather B .com and request me as a friend on Facebook. I'm still on Facebook. You can find me at the Happy Hour WHB. Cheers. Enjoy this one.